Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to use Excel VBA to compare two lists and to remove any duplicates, any matching items. So I have two worksheets of this workbook, two customer sheets. This is customers one, and this is the one that I want to remove the duplicates from. And just for the ease of this demonstration, I've changed the color of the duplicate customers. So don't be misled here, you don't have to change the color of them for this to work. I've only done that so that we know what to expect from this video and what the ultimate result will be. So that was Lawrence, Philippe, Jose and Rita. Now if we look at customers two, it's a slightly larger list. So those four customers I just mentioned are in this list somewhere. There's Rita, for example. They're in this list somewhere. They are the duplicates. There's Jose. So they're the ones I'm going to remove. Anyone else must be a new customer, I guess, in this pretend scenario. Okay, now the macro code we're going to need has already been written. I'm just going to pop over there now and going to talk you through the key elements of it. So let me click the developer tab on my ribbon and visual basic on the far left there. And this is our VBA code. Now I'm going to provide this file via a link in the description of this video. So check out the description below. I'm gonna have a link to this exact file so you can come and you can take this code play around with it, learn from it, use it, uh, whatever you wish. It's going to be made available. I'm also in the description of this video going to put a link to my online Excel VBA course, which you can get for just $49. So if this is a little bit much for you, but you really want to learn Excel VBA to automate your procedures like this, then that's also worth checking out and uh, we'll learn that together, get through that together. Okay, this is the code for now. So I've declared a few variables at the top. Uh, two for the worksheets, customers one, customers two. Two to track the row numbers, customers one, customers two. One to identify how many customers are in that second uh, list. And then I've got uh, one to track the ID I'm currently searching for and one just to report back how many duplicates. So what we've got here, we've got the initial kind of declarations and stuff here. This one finds out how many customers are in the second list. So the one that I'm kind of checking against. And then we start off with our loops, which if you've done some Excel VBA, you knew that there would be some loops involved in a task like this. We have the external loop, which is this do while loop. You see the words do while and then loop at the bottom. This is their external loop. This one is looping through the first, let me uh, shrink this a little bit, this first customers list. So starting from Maria, then Frederic, then Lawrence, then Peter, and so on and so forth. That's the one that's switching between those. So initially, it assigns the ID of the first person, Maria, that AF. ALFKI assigns it to this variable and then uses that to check against it. It jumps into the second loop, customers two. So it switches over to this sheet and starts from row two, which is way up here, and starts looking for Maria in that scenario. So it will start from that customer ID and so start looking for each cell, looking for Maria. If it finds Maria, then the first sheet is activated, the row is removed, uh, a note is made that one was removed, a duplicate was found, and I've just done a minus one on this row number. Now the reason for that is that you know on this first worksheet, as we're looking for each person, once we've of a found or not found Maria, we need to move to Frederic. We need to move to Lawrence. But in a case of when we find Lawrence, that row is going to be deleted. 
And whenever you delete a row in Excel, the other rows are going to move up. So Peter Franklin in row 5 will move into row 4. So when it comes to removing somebody, <coughs> I don't want to add a new row on, which is this line down here. Like, okay, they're not in the list, move to the next row. I don't want to move to the next row, because if I've deleted it, the other row is going to move up into that place. So I've just kind of put uh, a negative, so when it gets to here and adds it on, it effectively counteracts it. It doesn't, it doesn't increase in row numbers. That increases the active sheet and that exits the for loop down here. So it comes out of this loop ready for the next customer to look for. Now I know I'm kind of shooting through this, doing some explanation. Uh, so, it, you know, if you've done some VBA before, this will be sufficient for you and you'll understand a bit of what I'm saying. And you now I'm just trying to explain the key bits. If not, this video is probably going to be a bit much, which is why I recommend the, the, the course in the description of this video or to, to kind of understand a little bit about variables and about looping. Um, so that this video will make a little bit of a kind of sense for you. Essentially though, if this is something you need to do, just follow the link in the description to get this file and you can take and use this code. Uh, it should be ready to adapt for your needs to an extent, as long as the kind of structure of it is similar to what I have right now. At the end here, I just have a message box telling me that the duplicates have been removed. So let's see this in action. I told you there were four duplicates. If I go to my macros button, here's my macro. Ideally, I'd have a button to click, but I want to demonstrate using it this way. And if I run this macro, it simply removes those four. It would be helpful, actually, if I went back to the other sheet looking at this. It tells me four duplicates were removed. I click OK, I go back to customers one and those ones that are highlighted in that kind of orange colour are no longer there. So the job has been done, they have been removed. I hope you enjoyed this video, please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel, uh, come check us out at computergaga.com.